Now we want to take on the acceleration function and we'll just look in one dimension. What you need to know is right here. The acceleration function is the time derivative of the velocity function. You need to memorize this expression. Don't worry about any equations or anything else because this statement is always true and then you can apply it to whatever mathematical representation uh, in which you're interested. So if we're in one dimension and, and let's call that uh, label that one dimension the x-axis, we have some position function x of t that tells us the location of an object as a function of time in this one dimension on the x-axis. And we found out before that the position function, I'm sorry, the velocity function uh, of time, which is also going to be along the x-axis it's, because it's constrained to move in one dimension, is in the time derivative of the position function. And so now the acceleration function which is also confined to be along the x-axis, will be the time derivative of the velocity function. Or the second time derivative of the position function. And so if we know the position function, then we can calculate both just by calculating the derivatives. Let's do uh, a couple easy examples. So if I have a position function that's equal to 20 minus 10t, I can differentiate that to find the velocity function of time, and the constant is 0, which is then minus 10, and this is in uh, meters per second. If this is in meters and time is in seconds, then the velocity is in meters per second. I can differentiate this again to get the acceleration as a function of time, which is then zero, because this is a constant and the derivative of a constant is zero. Okay, so let's, let's look at something only slightly more interesting. So now we'll do uh, 2t minus t squared. Okay, so if I differentiate this one once, I get the velocity function in time, which is 2 minus 2t. And now I can differentiate this and get the acceleration as a function of time. And I differentiate the twos, get zero, differentiate minus two t, and I get minus two. And now meters per second squared is the units of acceleration. Let's take a, a minute and look at what that means. So meters per second squared is the units of acceleration. Another way to look at that is that's meters per second over seconds. And so the acceleration is telling you how the velocity is changing. And so it's saying that the velocity in meters per second is changing some amount for each second. And so, for example, here if I have uh, negative 2 meters per second squared, I can write that as negative 2 meters per second per second. So that's saying if this acceleration lasts one second, then the velocity will change by a negative two meters per second. That's sort of what the meters per second squared uh, means, and it's linked to how the velocity is changing. Okay, um, so to connect to things that we've talked about before, we can, we can um, talk about uh, differences of acceleration at two points in time. Let's say I choose an initial time t sub i and some final time uh, t sub f. I can calculate some time difference which is t final minus t initial. So if I look at two points in time then I would have an initial acceleration Now I might call this initial acceleration a sub i, but that's really the acceleration function evaluated at the initial time. And then I would have a final acceleration. I might call that a sub f, sub, uh, subscript f, but that's really the acceleration function evaluated at the final time. And if I want to know, I can calculate the acceleration difference. The acceleration difference. 
is I might call that delta A, which is then the acceleration final minus the acceleration initial, which I find by calculation the, calculating the acceleration function at the final and initial times. And then if I want, I can evaluate the time average acceleration, the average acceleration is then the acceleration difference divided by the time interval delta t. Okay, so the acceleration is a vector, like the velocity is a vector, the position is a vector. In one dimension, the, uh, the magnitude of the vector is given by the, the number, and the, the direction of the vector is given by the minus sign, just like the velocity and the position. And then the acceleration differences uh, also are vectors as well.